In social science, antipositivism also interpretivism and negativism is a theoretical stance, which proposes that the social realm cannot be studied with the scientific method of investigation applied to nature, and that investigation of the social realm requires a different epistemology. Fundamental to that antipositivist epistemology is the belief that the concepts and language that researchers use in their researches shape the perceptions of the social world they are investigating, studying, and defining. Topic. Concept Interpretivism anti -positivism developed among researchers dissatisfied with post-positivism, the theories of which they considered too general and ill-suited to reflect the nuance and variability found in human interaction. Because the values and theoretical beliefs of researchers cannot fully be removed from their inquiry, interpretivists believe research on human beings by human beings cannot yield objective results. Thus, rather than seeking an objective perspective, interpretivists look for meaning in the subjective experiences of individuals engaging in social interaction. Many interpretivist researchers immerse themselves in the social context they are studying, seeking to understand and formulate theories about a community or group of individuals by observing from the inside. Interpretivism is an inductive practice influenced by philosophical frameworks such as hermeneutics, phenomenology, and symbolic interactionism. History Beginning with Giambattista Vico, in the early 18th century, and later with Montesquieu, the study of natural history and human history were separate fields of intellectual inquiry. Natural history is not under human control, whereas human history is a human creation. As such, antipositivism is informed by an epistemological distinction between the natural world and the social realm. The natural world can only be understood by its external characteristics, whereas the social realm can be understood externally and internally, and thus can be known. In the early 19th century, intellectuals, led by the Hegelians, questioned the prospect of empirical social analysis. Karl Marx died before the establishment of formal social science, but nonetheless rejected the sociological positivism of Auguste Comte. Despite his attempt to establish an historical materialist science of society, the enhanced positivism of Emile Durkheim served as foundation of modern academic sociology and social research, yet retained many mechanical elements of its predecessor. Hermeneuticians such as Wilhelm Dilthey theorized in detail on the distinction between natural and social science Geisteswissenschaft, whilst Neo-Kantian philosophers such as Heinrich Rickert maintained that the social realm, with its abstract meanings and symbolisms, is inconsistent with scientific methods of analysis. Edmund Husserl, meanwhile, negated positivism through the rubric of phenomenology. At the turn of the 20th century, the first wave of German sociologists formally introduced Versterhende interpretive sociological antipositivism, proposing research should concentrate on human cultural norms, values, symbols, and social processes viewed from a resolutely subjective perspective. As an antipositivist, however, one seeks relationships that are not as ahistorical, invariant, or generalizable," as those pursued by natural scientists. The interaction between theory or constructed concepts and data is always fundamental in social science and this subjection distinguishes it from physical science. Durkheim himself noted the importance of constructing concepts in the abstract e.g., collective consciousness and social anime in order to form workable categories for experimentation. Both Weber and Georg Simmel pioneered the Verstehen or interpretative approach towards social science, a systematic process in which an outside observer attempts to relate to a particular cultural group, or indigenous people, on their own terms and from their own point of view. Sociology is the science whose object is to interpret the meaning of social action and thereby give a causal explanation of the way in which the action proceeds and the effects which it produces. By action in this definition is meant the human behavior when and to the extent the agent or agents see it as subjectively meaningful. 
The meaning to which we refer may be either a the meaning actually intended either by an individual agent on a particular historical occasion or by a number of agents on an approximate average in a given set of cases, or b the meaning attributed to the agent or agents, as types, in a pure type constructed in the abstract. In neither case is the meaning thought of as somehow objectively correct or true by some metaphysical criterion. This is the difference between the empirical sciences of action, such as sociology and history, and any kind of a priori discipline, such as jurisprudence, logic, ethics, or aesthetics whose aim is to extract from the subject matter correct or valid meaning. Through the work of Simmel, in particular, sociology acquired a possible character beyond positivist data collection or grand, deterministic systems of structural law. Relatively isolated from the sociological academy throughout his lifetime, Simmel presented idiosyncratic analyses of modernity more reminiscent of the phenomenological and existential writers than of Comte or Durkheim, paying particular concern to the forms of, and possibilities for, social individuality. His sociology engaged in a neo-Kantian critique of the limits of human perception. Antipositivism thus holds there is no methodological unity of the sciences. The three goals of positivism, description, control, and prediction, are incomplete, since they lack any understanding. Science aims at understanding causality so control can be exerted. If this succeeded in sociology, those with knowledge would be able to control the ignorant and this could lead to social engineering. This perspective has led to controversy over how one can draw the line between subjective and objective research, much less draw an artificial line between environment and human organization, see environmental sociology, and influence the study of hermeneutics. The base concepts of antipositivism have expanded beyond the scope of social science, in fact, phenomenology has the same basic principles at its core. Simply put, positivists see sociology as a science, while antipositivists do not. <laughs> Frankfurt School The antipositivist tradition continued in the establishment of critical theory, particularly the work associated with the Frankfurt School of Social Research. Antipositivism would be further facilitated by rejections of scientism, or science as ideology. Jürgen Habermas argues, in his On the Logic of the Social Sciences, 1967, that the positivist thesis of unified science, which assimilates all the sciences to a natural scientific model, fails because of the intimate relationship between the social sciences and history, and the fact that they are based on a situation-specific understanding of meaning that can be explicated only hermeneutically. Access to a symbolically pre-structured reality cannot be gained by observation alone. Sociologist Zygmunt Bauman argued that, "...our innate tendency to express moral concern and identify with the others once is stifled in modernity by positivistic science and dogmatic bureaucracy. If the other does not fit in to modernity's approved classifications, it is liable to be extinguished." See also Grounded theory Humanistic sociology Holism Philosophy of social science Poststructuralism Social action Symbolic interactionism